grand fools today, Marco. You want me to explain what we're doing? This is a product that was registered in 1950. 1950? Scythe. Um, so scythe is a... Pelargonic acid? It's, Very... a nat it's, it's an organic, naturally occurring substance that occurs in the human body. And if we can get this registered as organic, yes. we will be able to um, use it in something like leaky vegetables as a post-directed spray and not have to worry about getting any contamination of the plants. Works better on, on broad leaves or grasses? What, or I think general? it's primarily on broad leaves, but we're going to find out. I, I think it's primarily, it's a contact herbicide. It's just acid. We'll know if by this time tomorrow how well we did. It's just strictly a burn down product. But it has no soil residual, it's safe to the environment. I'm hoping that it's one of those older products that we really kind of reach into. But, but it was like I was saying yesterday, we're taking old chemistry and trying to find new utility for it. If you look at old literature before we had selective herbicides, what they were using was high volumes of acids and oils and um, salts as non-selective weed control, not so much in the field but around the fields. I mean they even had like arsenic compounds. Really? It was not a it was not a safe time to be working on a farm. Now we'd raise hell. If somebody, you know Do you add any adjuvant to this? No. I think we're ready. I'm going to uh, put my nozzles in, change my nozzles, go over and make sure I'm spraying okay, and then I'm going to go for it.